something. Uh, this may be useful for uh, the young people uh, in the audience. Uh, in my experience, in your studies, if you find something particularly uh, interesting to you, uh, that is an opportunity for you to make some uh, concentration. I will give you uh, an example. We all know that uh, Heisenberg, in 1925, uh, wrote a paper in which there were algebraic um, maneuverings, and he didn't know it was matrices. And uh, he wrote a preprint, and that preprint uh, he sent to follow in Great Britain and Dirac was a student of Fowler. So Fowler gave that uh, preprint of Heisenberg's to Dirac. And Dirac uh, later in his life said, he looked at the, this was in 1925, he looked at the, the Heisenberg preprint and he didn't, uh, didn't really pay too much attention, and he did not understand the main ideas of uh, Heisenberg. But there was one statement in the, in the article of Heisenberg that uh, struck him as interesting. That statement was the, that P times Q is not equal to Q times P. It's non-commutative. For some reason, uh, that statement director remembered, and he found it interesting. And he, lay, he said to the end, toward the end of his life, uh, somehow that uh, concept was in, in his mind. And then one day, one Sunday, he suddenly realized that he had seen something like this before, something which was not commuted yet. And it was called poison bracket. He had studied dynamics, analytic mechanics before, and there was the concept of poison bracket, and it was not commutative. And somehow he remembered that. And so he said, oh, maybe what Heisenberg did is related to the poison bracket. But he had forgotten what the poison bracket was. And it was Sunday. The library was not open. So therefore, uh, he, uh, he had to wait. The next Monday morning, the library opened. He went to the library and looked up the poison bracket. Sure enough, it was non-commutative. And then he realized that what Heisenberg did, which Heisenberg did not understand, was in fact just a new version of poison bracket. And th that led to his important work. That was uh, his first great piece of work <coughs> in physics. I think this is a very important lesson, and I will give you uh, a very elementary version of that. When I was a child, I was uh, very good doing arithmetic. My father was a professor of mathematics, so evidently he would uh, tell, he would uh, uh, ask me arithmetic questions. You know, there were a series of uh, arithmetic questions in ancient China. Uh, one of them was called chicken and rabbit in the same cage. The graduate students uh, here from China will know about it. It's like this. There's a cage in which there are chicken and uh, rabbits. You count. They're all together, say, 10 heads. And you count the feet. There were 30 feet. Question, how many chicken, how many? <laughs> how many rabbits? So this type of uh, arithmetic question. So my uh, father taught me this, and uh, I remember. <coughs> then I went to America, and I had three children. They were all very bright. So when they were little, I taught them chicken and rabbit in the cage. <laughs> and they all learned it. But there's a difference between me 
and my three children. One year after I learned it, when my father asked me, I remembered. With my three children, one year afterwards, they have completely forgotten about it. <laughs> <laughs> so they have to relearn it. What is the story? The story is that somehow it's not enough just the learning. It is the appreciation of it. If you have had some inkling of appreciation of something, pay attention. That may be something that uh, could become your career. It's, uh, there are repeatedly such examples. Uh, when you read the poetry, you do not like uh, the poems of all past the great uh, poets. There are ones that you particularly like, which means Somehow in your brain structure, there is something which uh, uh, is related to the essence of that poem. What I want to say to the young people is that if you have some feelings like that, pay attention. When I said that uh, I liked statistical mechanics, although I had great frustration, that means that uh, although I was frustrated, but there's something about uh, this type of uh, work that uh, has resonance in my, um, in my brain. And so therefore, my paying attention to it was a very rewarding experience.